want to share with you a collectible, some clothes, some makeup, so let's get started. First, I'm going to start with clothes. Ever since the Dolce & Gabbana came out this, with the Star Collection, I don't even know if it's called the Star Collection, it's like the Star Design. I've been dying to get my hand on any of the pieces, like the scarf, the blouse, the leggings, the dress. I've seen a lot of celebrities wearing it, but unfortunately we don't have Dolce & Gabbana here in Egypt, but we have Bayman. I've talked about this before, it's like a big store that carries Dolce & Gabbana, Gucci, um, Serge Tacchini, a lot of brands and they're pretty expensive they're very very expensive they're more expensive than the the normal shops because they pay taxes and rent and stuff blah 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 whatever i find the collection in Bayman, but as i said before it's very very expensive so i just skipped on that and while i was shopping at zara i found the exact same blouse like the exact same design and it's very nice, but as you can see, I didn't wear it because I was like, you know what, I don't want to wear a dupe. If I'm going to wear something, I'm just going to wear the original. That's that's how I And am. then after a month or so, Bayman had a big discount, 50 or 70% off. And I went immediately when I got the message that they had a sale. And the first thing I went to was the Dolce & Gabbana section. And lucky enough, I found it on sale. And as you can see, this is the original one. This is the Dolce & Gabbana original one so looks like this and it's totally different in the material and this one is more fitted on your body and it's just so pretty I love the colors and I think it's so so pretty so this is like the most exciting purchase I've done ever since my Chanel bag and I got it for 70% off so I didn't even think twice I immediately grab it and I went and bought it so yeah so now I have the two uh, shirts but definitely I'm not gonna wear the Zara one I'm gonna wear the Dolce & Gabbana one because I think it's totally totally different this one doesn't have buttons all the way just like some buttons in the front um, but this one is like a shirt it's like I don't know it's like really really pretty it's so soft on the body and I can't wait to wear it next also from Bayman they had 70% of the juicy couture stuff so I picked up um, this like sweatpants they look like this and they have juicy couture on the side and they're very nice material they're baby pink color so yeah, I really like these. Moving on, also from Bayman, I picked up a pair of ballerinas from Tory Burch and I think their packaging is to die for. It's so pretty, it's hot pink and orange. So I picked up a pair of ballerinas. They look like this. I don't own anything from Tory Burch and I'm a big fan of ballerinas. I love heels, but I love wearing ballerinas for like every day. So they look like this and I think they're so, so pretty. Next, also from Bayman, I picked up another pair of ballerinas from Gucci and these ones I wasn't planning on getting them but I really, really fall in love with the color. So they look like this and I really like the heart shape from Gucci, I think it's so special. I really, really like the colors and I got them specifically to wear them with my uh, navy blue Balenciaga that I got recently from London when I was picking up my wedding dress. And I think they go well, very well together. So I picked up this because I've been wearing this a lot. So I wanted to get a matching shoes. And the last thing I picked up from Bayman were these shoes. And these are from Zenotti. And these are my favorite. So they look like this. And how pretty are these? They're so sparkly and so pretty and I love them. They're so comfy and they're so chic. So, so happy about these. So that's all I picked up from Bayman. My mom was in Germany, so she picked up some stuff for me. So she got me this Calvin Klein kind of a dress, pregnancy dress. And that's actually what she told me. She's like, when you get pregnant, you should wear this kind of dresses. And I think it's so pretty. I love the Shira print. It's so in and I think it's very nice and suits my skin color. Also she got me this Ralph Lauren um, pullover. It's gray and it has the uh, polo Ralph Lauren sign with hot pink. Next I want to share with you some stuff that I picked out of Springfield. I went there recently 
And I picked some cute stuff, so I really wanted to share it with you because it's so girly. I picked up this shirt, and as you can see, it's all lipsticks, hearts, and it's so pretty for Valentine's. Also, I picked up this um, striped pullover, and it's gray and white. I think it's so cute because of the bow. I'm so, so into bows. And the last thing I picked is like a sweatshirt kind of shirt for gym and you know for chilling. So cute. It's from, I think it's a Disney brand, but it's by Springfield. So I don't know. So the last closing piece I want to share with you is this uh, really nice fake leather green blazer that I picked out from Outlook and the brand is called Shushu. I don't know how they pronounce this. But I really, really like the color and I think it's gonna look really nice on a lot of outfits. That's all the clothes I got. Moving to some perfumes and makeup. So I picked up this uh, new Skada Sexy Graphite perfume and it smells so good. It smells like, um, what is it called? Marine Groove, but in like more sweety way. So it looks like this. I got this small bottle. Because I never, never run out of my perfume. And the next perfume I got is the new Deacon Y Limited Edition. It's um, Donna Care in New York. And I think it's called Deacon Y Sweet Delicious. It looks like this. I'm not a fan of the Deacon Y perfumes, but I really like the way it smells. And I love the bottle. It's so, so girly. So it looks like this. And it smells, it smells really good. It's so, so summery and fresh. And the last perfume I picked up is Viva La Juice from Juicy Couture. And what sold me about this is the packaging. I think it's super duper pretty. And I already have two of the Viva La Juice perfumes. So I'm probably going to give this to my sister because she really likes it. But what's cool about this is the back. I really like the bag. I know I'm so stupid. Um, so it looks like this. And I'll be using this to take my cream, conditioner and stuff when I'm going to the hairdresser and it comes with um, body lotion from Viva La Juice I don't have this so I'm gonna keep this and it comes with a mini tester from uh, I think this is Peace Love and Juicy Couture the perfume, the mini um, tester and it comes with the body cream of also the Peace Love and Juicy Couture so these are like extras and yeah, so that's all the perfumes I picked up. Moving on to makeup, I went to MAC when I was traveling and I picked up some stuff. They didn't have the new collection because I that was like two, three weeks ago, but I picked up some stuff that I didn't have. First, I, I got this. I think that was from the New Year collection or whatever. So it comes with um, 4 and 8 polishes and I really, really like the the ball. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for but I like it. So it comes with four nail polishes and I'm gonna write all the names because I don't have time to say all the names. So it comes with this very pretty shimmery um, color and I did some swatches here somewhere. Pretty shimmery white and it's not very pigmented but it's so so pretty. So that's a swatch. The one in the middle. And then it comes with this Pretty purpley burgundy color, so so pretty. And here is a swatch, this color. And then it comes with a very weird greenish yellowish color, which I'm not sure I'm gonna wear this, maybe on my toes in summer or something, because I don't have the guts to wear a vomit green on my nails. So that's a swatch, this color. I think it's kind of weird. I'm probably gonna wear it on my toes. And the last color, which is one of my favorite, is this nude uh, shimmery kind of color. And here's a swatch, which is really, really, really pretty. It's one of my favorites, this one. So that's that. Also from this collection, I picked up this set. Comes with uh, three products and a makeup bag. And I really, really like this makeup bag because it's transparent so you can see what's inside. So that's a bonus. And it comes with a lip liner, a brown lip liner and a shimmery um, lip gloss. It's a cream sheen gloss, which I really, really like it. It's a very nice shimmery color, color, coral color. And it comes with a lipstick and this is a very nice color. I think this is Cream de Nude. Yep. 
Cream de Nude. It's a very, very nice everyday color. I already have this color, but I can have a backup. And also I picked up another one from this uh, thing. <laughs> so it also comes with a um, makeup bag and it comes with three products also. It comes with the um, lip gloss. And this color is so, so pretty. I really, really like it. It's very neutral. And then it comes with a red lipstick, which is so, so pretty. It's kind of a reddish orangey color. So pretty. And then it comes with a mini uh, nail polish. And here is a little swatch. It's a red nail polish. Nothing really special. So that's that. Moving on, I picked up three nail polishes. I picked up this minty green and i really really like minty green especially in spring and summer and here's a swatch this color then i picked up this shimmery uh nude color which is so so pretty i really really like this color and here is a swatch and the last nail polish i picked up is this purpley burgundy color and that's what i have on my nails today uh, it's not special but i love mac nail polishes so i picked this up and here's a swatch. And as I said, that's what I'm wearing on my nails. So that's that. Moving on, I got three blushes. First, I got blonde, and it's a very nice brownie color. I was dying to pick up this color for the longest time, so I'm so glad I got it. Then I got this orangey color, which is so pretty. I heard a lot of gurus talking about this color. And the last blush I picked up is this amazing burgundy plummy color. It's so, so pretty, and it's a cream uh, blush. And that, that's what I have on today. And on top of it, I have this Chanel um, blush, which is a very, very pretty color. It's not new, but I just wanted to show you what I have on. Moving on, I got two brushes. I got the um, 219, nothing special. It's a pencil brush. And I got the fan brush, which is 184. I don't own any uh, synthetic fan brushes. So I got this. And also I picked up this brush, which I really like. I'm not sure what you can use this for, but it's an angled foundation brush. I guess it's 193, number 193. And I didn't try any of these, so I'm not sure. Next, I picked up one mineralized uh, eyeshadow and it looks like this. It's so, so pretty. That's what I have today on. I have it wet, so I just used the Fix Plus on my brush and applied this all over my lid. Next, I picked up four eyeshadows. I picked up this brown color, which is so pretty. It's like an orangey brown. It's mutt and it's so pretty. I use it as um, a blending color today on my crease and I think it's so, so nice. Next, I got this color, which is kind of a grayish, nudish color and it's also so pretty. Also, I got this white um is it shimmery no it's a matte white color and it looks like this you can never get enough white and you know highlight colors and then i got this shimmery like pinky color it looks like this and it's so 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 pretty for your bro bones so that's all the eyeshadows. oh no i'm lying i picked up two refill colors i got this like salmony corally baby pink color and I got this mud brown and next I picked up one pigment and I was dying to get this one and this is in rose it's a very very pretty color and also I picked up this uh, illuminizer from MAC I think it's a new product I've never seen this I've never seen anyone talking about it and basically that's like a primer or um yeah you can use it as a primer or a highlighter it's a pink color but when you blend it it doesn't uh give any color and it's an illuminizer so you can apply this um under your foundation to give you a glow or you can use it as a highlighter um up here so i didn't try this but i wanted to try it because it's new for me at least it's new next i picked up two of the long wear lip creams so I picked up this color and I don't own any color like this and here's a swatch. It's very very nice and neutral. Next I picked up another long wear lip cream and that's what I'm wearing on today. It's a very nice purpley, mm, I don't know how to explain it but it's a very nice purpley plummy color and that's what I'm wearing. 
And the last color I picked up is this mud pink color and I think it's so so pretty and here's this swatch. Moving on, I picked one of the cream sheen glosses and this color is so pretty on its own and on top of other colors like I'm wearing it today on top of the purpley color that I just showed you. So that's how it looks like on top of the lipstick and that's how it looks like on its own i really really like this color and i've been wearing it a lot i love this color so it's very very nice and also i picked up this uh bro set nothing really special i ran out of mine so i picked up a new one and then they gave me some uh samples so they gave me the nc20 concealer which is a very light color for me but i've been using it on other girls and then they gave me the Naked Pigment and I was dying to try this one. I actually picked up the colors that I wanted to try. Also, I got the, um, uh, I think it's called Christmas Pigment. And I got the Vanilla Pigment. And I really, really like these colors. So that's all. Moving on, when I was traveling, I picked up some stuff from the Duty Free. And I wanted to get some uh, Bobbi Brown stuff. So first I got the Party Shimmer Break. I think it's called that. I really, really like the packaging. It's hot pink from the inside and it's silver. So it looks like this and I've seen this in a magazine so I really wanted to pick it up because it looks so cool. So basically it's a highlighter. Looks like this. It comes with two colors, gold and silver and they're so pigmented and so nice. I didn't try them on my face. I just swatched them so here are the two colors i really really like it and as i said i've seen it on a magazine so i really wanted to try it and then i got the um, bobby brown long wear gel eyeliner set and it comes with two eyeliners it comes with a black and a brown and an eyeliner brush which i had it before and i hate it so we'll see. Next I picked up the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15 and I got this because I'm using uh, now the Tinted Moisturizer from uh, Bobbi Brown and I really really like it, the Balm Tinted Moisturizer. So I wanted to give this a try so it looks like this and um, I didn't try it on my face but I swatched it in the shop and I really really like it. It's full coverage and it's amazing. And the last thing I picked up from Bug Brown is the Instant Long Wear Makeup Remover and I don't even remember why I picked up this I don't know but it's um, a makeup remover so that's that I don't know maybe I wanted to get a makeup remover uh, this time but I don't even remember anyways I picked up this I didn't try it I'm gonna let you know if it's in my favorites then it's nice and the last thing I picked up is the Jo Milan London Perfume and it comes in this cute packaging and seriously this perfume is to die for it smells so so good and honey and fruits and it's so so yummy I'm, I'm I don't know how to describe it but it smells so good I think you can only get these in London but I got mine in the airport so I don't know so that's, so that's all. all I want to share with you girls today I hope you girls enjoyed this video let me know what you want to see don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching I'm gonna see you in my next video Ciao.